Welcome to the video tutorial on shell scripting. Operating systems are made of many components but their two prime components are kernel and shell. The kernel is at the nucleus of a computer. It makes the communication between the software and the hardware possible. While the kernel is the innermost part of an operating system, a shell is the outermost one. A shell in a Linux operating system takes input from you in form of commands, processes them and then gives an output. It is the interface through which a user works on the programs, commands and scripts. A shell is accessed by a terminal which runs it. When you run the terminal, the shell issues a command prompt which is usually the dollar sign wherein you can type your input which is then executed when you hit the enter key. So if we type in the pwd command and hit the enter key, the output or the result is thereafter displayed on the terminal. The shell wraps around the delicate interior of an operating system protecting it from accidental damage, hence the name shell. There are two main shells in Linux. The first one is the bond shell. The prompt for this shell is the dollar sign and its derivatives are the POSIX shell known as SH, the CON shell also known as SH, and the BORN AGAIN shell also known as BASH which is the most popular of them all. The second one is the C shell. The prompt for this shell is the percentage sign and its subcategories are C shell also known as CSH, TOPS C shell also known as TCSH. We will discuss bash shell based shell scripting in this tutorial. So what is shell scripting and why do I need it? Writing a series of command for the shell to execute is called shell scripting. It can combine lengthy and repetitive sequences of commands into a single and simple script which can be stored and executed anytime. This reduces the effort required by the end user. Let us understand the steps in creating a shell script. First, create a file using a VI editor or any other text editor. Second, name the script file with an extension .sh. Start the script with the hash sign followed by shriek followed by the bin sh path. Write some code. Save the script file as file name .sh. For executing the script, type bash followed by file name Dot sh. Here, the hash sign followed by shriek is an operator called shebang which directs the scripts to the interpreter location. Let us create a small script using the vi editor. We will start with typing vi followed by the file name. Do not forget to enter the sh extension. By pressing the i key on the keyboard, we will enter the insert mode of the vi editor. Let's start with the script. You need to start your script with shebang sign followed by the bin sh path every time you create a shell script. Let's type in the command and quickly go ahead and save this file. Now in order to run the script, we need to type in bash followed by the script name. Again, do not forget to type in the sh extension. Upon hitting the enter key, we would see that the command ls is executed. Commenting is important in any program. In shell, the syntax to add a comment is the hash sign followed by the comment. Let us understand this with an example. So let us create another sample script. Now we would again start with the shebang sign followed by the bin sh path. Let us execute the command pwd. Now here we would like to add a comment which will tell us that the pwd command stands for present working directory. Let us quickly go ahead and save this script. Now upon running script1.sh we will find that the pwd command was executed but the comment present working directory was ignored. Moving on to what are shell variables, as discussed earlier, variables store data in form of characters and numbers. Similarly, shell variables are used to store information and they can be read by the shell only. For example, 
this piece of script creates a shell variable and then prints it. This is a small script which will create and it will use variables. So let us start with creating the script. We will start the script as usual with the shebang followed by the bin sh path. Now let us start with writing the script. As we have completed writing the script, let us go ahead and save it. Now let us go ahead and run the script file. For this, we need to type in bash followed by the script name which is easyscript.sh in our case. Once we hit the enter key, the script starts executing and it asks us what is your name. We will type in the name guru99. Upon hitting the enter again, the script now tells us how do you do and it echoes our name. Let us put in good. As you can see here the script repeats the remark that we have entered. This is how we can create script based on bash shell. Now this is a simple script. You can develop advanced scripts which contain conditional statements, loops and functions. Shell scripting will make your life easy and Linux administration a breeze. Let us quickly recap what we learned in this tutorial. Kernel is the nucleus of the operating systems and it communicates between hardware and software. Shell is a program which interprets user commands through CLI like terminal. The Bon shell and the C shell are the most used shells in Linux. Shell scripting is writing a series of commands for the shell to execute. Shell variables store the value of a string or a number for the shell to read. Shell scripting can help you create complex programs containing conditional statements, loops and functions. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next one.